Uh, what other levels? The, how okay, you got, okay, here's what you've got. Crisis City, End of the World, mm. which was, oh, uh, which is, to be fair, makes a match of a lot of others. I don't think End of the World would work in Generations. The remix would have been nice, though. Yeah, well, well, they could they could easily put a remix in through the the sound test or whatever. Yeah, Kingdom Valley. Yeah. Wave Ocean. Huh? Wave Ocean. Yeah. Flame Core. I think that would be good. Aquatic Base, like we just said. Yeah. Dusty Desert. There's Tropical Jungle. Oh yeah, I forgot about Tropical Jungle. I knew there was a jungle level, but I forgot what it actually called. Tropical jungle, radical train, and white acropolis. Hmm. Not sure about ra white acropolis though. Um, I think I think if we'll... go ahead, I think white acropolis was fairly good for what it had to do, for what it was actually meant to do. Hmm. Well, I, I like the idea of white acropolis like being a big open field and all that, but in 06, it it was kind of like a barren wasteland for the most part. But I, I, I think if they redid it in Generations, they could have done something kind of sp really special, actually. Because they, they made Crisis City a really good level in Generations. They really did. I They took a level from a bad game and... Made it well, a really... Well, it's a, a subpar game uh, at the very most. Yeah. Because they... Gen uh, Crisis City is one of the... Probably one of the stages that have the most potential in 06, so I'm actually really glad they brought it back. Exactly, they filled the potential, they uh, made it uh, great. Yeah, because I. How many Sonic stages can you say have a level that's based in a city that's on fire? <laughs> like, there's. Y you can't say that often. It's just. Especially with lava involved. Yeah. But you can say it's another city level, but. It, well, if you just say it's just another city level, you're kind of missing the point of the stage. You know what I would have liked though in Generations? What's that? If they if there was a boss, like I'm not and I'm not counting the Tamiya boss. I'm just uh, I'm talking about a boss uh, that would have required both classic and modern Sonic. Like uh, you had to take it in turns uh, to hit. Like I was actually I was I... actually thinking about that. Yeah, I well when I first saw the game and all that, I thought you were gonna be able to go through like play a boss twice, but you you never have to. But if you want, you can play it with like classic or modern, and both have different kind of ways to fight them. That I, that would have been brilliant, admittedly. Yeah, cause like I I do like how like. That you have different cutscenes depending on if you finish a zone with classic or modern and stuff like that, but I would have liked it even better if you could fight bosses with both Sonic. Exactly, it's like like a ticket in turns kind of thing. You know, if you you know what I mean, like uh, Metal Metal Sonic from Metal Madness from Sonic Heroes. Yeah, like where you had to switch between each team. Yeah, something along the lines of that. Hmm. Wait, or, like, wait, or something like, in a similar vein to uh, Perfect Chaos, like where you, it was like a level-based boss, uh, where it was a big, it was a huge uh, freeing boss, and you had to uh, navigate, like beat the small goons, yeah, and just continue on, and to, to the weak point of the big boss. Also, can, can I just say? Because oh, uh, okay, go on. Well, yeah, before we continue that. I just want to say that the time of your fight was really underwhelming. Like, they it was they, longer than it needed to be, basically. Yeah, it, it it was hyped up to be something. Like it it was hyped up essentially throughout the entire game, and it's just when you get to him, it's just eh. Anyway, like, going back to what I was saying. Yeah. It was like when I first. Uh, when I first about heard about Generations, it was like it would have been, and what it would would have been about. Yeah. I instantly, uh, my mind instantly drifted to something uh, like a huge boss fight on the uh, Space Colony Arc. We could... something, it's something a bit. I'm not, I'm not talking about the Shadow Fight or anything like that. Okay. I'm talking about like uh, if Doctor Eggman 
or whatever this time you think it was uh, well at the time anyway when we back before we uh, back before I knew what the time it was mm. well I mean like oops um, like if it brought back uh, Final Hazard as a, a bigger threat than it was before and it needed both Sonics to defeat him huh that would have been really cool actually but when uh, also when I was when I was thinking about Sonic Generations, I th fucking hell. Well, I didn't even see that. <laughs> I was thinking of something. Uh, I was uh, instantly thinking that uh, they would bring Mighty back or something like that. Well, they 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 uh, they are aware of those characters being gone for a while because like you have the wanted posters in was it the in City Escape? City Escape, yeah, that's it. That no, was actually uh, a really cool. Uh, Thing to see. Also, for some reason, I thought, oh, that that was that was good. That. Yeah, I didn't expect. I can't it. believe you did that. Neither oh can God. I. I just couldn't. I refuse to die. Yeah. Boom. Anyway, I was thinking that like some of the Archie comic characters might have ended up making an appearance. Hmm. Well, I don't. I don't think they'd really make like be like a full story. What the hell happened? What the there? hell? I, I have no idea what just happened, but okay. Um, That's what they call spin dashing. <laughs> That's what they call spin dashing. I don't even know. Um, That's what people with the list, uh, list call the spin dash. Spin <laughs> death. Spin death. Spin death. <laughs> <laughs> wow, my head's spinning. My head's spinning. Dude. Uh, but no, um... Spin death. What's it? Anyway, good, that's what we're saying. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> but yeah, something along the lines of, like, uh, bringing back Final Hazard to be a bigger threat than it was. Yeah, and like, well... You go to... A perfect chaos, like... No... <laughs> Well, so Sonic's clearly gotten stronger than he was in SA1. <laughs> yeah, boy. I like this section. This is not in the original Wait. stage. Oh my god, that is actually pretty good. It's like the end of Kingdom Valley if it didn't control like crap. If, or if it didn't suck. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Get your ass off! <laughs> Oh man. Where are you at? <laughs> Alright. Oh, be careful. Arrows! Uh, the, yeah, the, th the thing with the Unleashed style of gameplay is that it doesn't... Uh, it's not... Really fit exploration that well. Well, not just that, but it, it doesn't fit, like, platforming in general that well. Like... Generations controls well enough, but I don't think it controls that well in a free roaming... Oh my god, look at his knees! <laughs> yeah, in a free roaming environment, I guess. Good hit! Howdy, partner! <laughs> yeah. Sonic skip leg day. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh, oh, I don't know, like... What was I saying? Uh, they're talking about the only style of gameplay. Oh right, like I I enjoy the style a lot, but I don't think it works too well for platforming. And like, especially like you know that area in Rooftop Run when it's like that big open area. Mhm. Mm I don't think the game really controls well in that kind of style, or in that kind of environment. Like. I, I think if we want another game that's more like like a bunch of open different paths and whatnot, we'd probably have to go back to like another game kind of like in the Sonic Adventure style gameplay. Maybe Heroes, if they can like polish that up. Because they, they have uh, declared interest in the Heroes too, so I'd like to see that.
Oh wow, that was a. <laughs> yeah, remember that what you did last level. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you feel about Heroes 2? I don't I'd play it. I'd get it and play it. Yeah, I uh, same same here. Uh, Just as long as it didn't involve key hunting. Well, my own, only big issue with Heroes is that you had to play the game four times essentially. Yeah, if they uh, if they turn that down, I think it'd be better. All they really need to do is make every team go to different uh, levels, or if you can't do that, make it like 06 where yeah. And SA1 for that matter. Make it so, yeah, they go to the same stages, but different parts of the stage. So it's not absolutely repetitive. Yeah, so like, like make like a Dusty Desert, for instance, in 06, where Sonic goes through the outer re uh, regions, and Shadow and Silver go to the inner regions. Something like that. So you... you so you basically make four stage. When you make one stage, you're basically making four stages. Because mm -hmm. like Sonic stages do take a long time to make, considering the speed you go at. So uh, level uh, developers have to keep that in mind. Exactly, they can't make it absolutely short. Yeah, because I. Like, to mean to make it last as long as, uh, as. Uh, some levels do in some in other games. Yeah. Like say, a Mario level for a Mario game. Yeah, Mar Mario. They've got, to, they've got to make it absolutely vast. Yeah, because like, Mario, Mario does at the speed he does. Yeah, Mario levels are re like really small compared to Sonic levels because like you don't go at the speed of sound ever. So. Also, going back to what we're saying about uh, big bosses at uh, like the end of levels. Yeah. Think about uh, mm, Dark Gaia. Oh. Do you know, you know how like each time you had to um, keep a hold on Dark Gaia, and no. then when you were, uh, and then when you were Sonic, you had to navigate a level, and then in right at the end, he hits a weak spot. Yeah. Something that'll, like that. That would be interesting. Like, in terms of the boss fights, they they have a lot of wasted potential in, in generations. Like, I, I enjoy the bosses for what they are, but they're, they're really basic, honestly. Like, I, I, I think the silver fight is one of my favourites, though. What, in generations? Yeah. Like, they actually made it really fun. They made a really, really crap boss. Into, into that. Yeah. I, I just hate how Sonic was such a wimp when he had to go up against Silver in 06. Cause like... They, they, he was just out of character. Yeah, like, if it was Unleashed Sonic, he... he he'd, just been, he'd have just been like, fuck that, and just... Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, he, he just... And if it, would have, if it were night time, so Silver would have been pretty fucked. <laughs> well, here's the thing though, like, uh, uh, with... Yay, I can go into the water without dying. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I was saying, if it was Unleashed Sonic, he he just he wouldn't give t uh, Silver time to grab and just run behind him, kick, it, kick, it, kick him in the head and just keep repeating that until it's he's like down. one hit and Sonic was down like that. Yeah, it's so stupid. Like, you, you've dealt why with... You, why, why was he like that? Oh, it was for plot conveniences. I, like, I, I don't understand how he w he was getting, like, worn out when he was frozen. Like, Silver wasn't even doing anything, it was just holding him in place. Yeah, unless he was probably, uh, shocking him or something. Yeah, but you can't do that in the game, so... <laughs> yeah, but remember that Silver can grab, uh, grab robots that aren't stunned. In the cutscenes. Ugh. So inconsistent. I I don't. Put scenes you have to. Yeah. But uh, I I don't know though. Like, I just don't understand why Sonic just stands there. It have wall jumped and hit him in the back of the head. Just run, just like run in a circle behind him, and just. You're too slow. You're too slow. You're too slow. <laughs> he, 
He wouldn't have any time. Silver wouldn't have any time to react if he was like that. You're too slow.